New details tonight into the murder arrest of Nathan Cameron. Police say the 27 year old threw his girlfriend off a third floor balcony. I'm Erin Kiernan. This is a heartbreaking story. Police arrested Cameron last week, more than a month after what he claimed was an accident. 23 year old Trisha Coons died February 12th, the day after she suffered fatal injuries in a fall at Sun Prairie Apartments in West Des Moines. According to the criminal complaint, Cameron arrived at the apartment complex minutes before Coons and sat in his car waiting for her to arrive. Once Coons went into the building, police say Cameron followed. About 15 minutes later, police say he called 911 to report that Coons had jumped from the balcony. The criminal complaint goes on to read, some of the injuries suffered by Coons are found to be inconsistent with a fall. Police also say messages between the two show Cameron threatening to kill Coons if she's not home before he gets there. This isn't the first time Cameron has been accused of domestic abuse. According to a criminal complaint from June of 2020, he shattered a window, causing Coons to suffer cuts that required stitches. Police say Cameron also threatened to kill her. Charges in that case were dropped later that same year. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson joins us now. Kaylin, the horrifying allegation did not come as a surprise to two domestic abuse survivors that you spoke with today. No, it didn't, Erin. It's a story they're both familiar with, and now their work is dedicated to help others escape the violence. They say we all have something to learn when things like this happen. When domestic violence ends in a fatal tragedy such as this, it's certainly a wake up call. I think it's gut wrenching every time we see that um, another person is lost to homicide by domestic violence. And so it's just, it's tough, right? And especially because I'm a survivor, there is some survivor's guilt there when I read these stories, just wondering if there was something that could have been done to change the circumstances. After being attacked by her boyfriend in 2009, Tiffany Allison formed the Soaring Hearts Foundation to advocate for victims of violent crimes. And she's worked with lawmakers on different domestic violence legislation. Melissa Vine leads The Beacon, an environment that helps women overcome trauma. They both say there are several different reasons why victims stay in abusive relationships. And it's important to change the conversation to prevent tragedies from happening. The important piece is shifting the question from why did they stay to how can I support them? If people would respond to victims um, asks for help or their stories of abuse with compassion and resources instead of that sort of critiquing eye and um, you know, maybe a you know best attitude. I think that a lot more people would speak up and ask for help and uh, live a life free from abuse. There are several resources people can reach out to, including an Iowa victim service number. You can call 1-800-770-1650, or you can text Iowa Help to 20121, Erin. Okay, thanks, Kaylin.